60 to 80 percent. For those of you keeping score at home, that's two-thirds to three-quarters of the content of interpersonal communication is transferred through nonverbal cues. We know this intuitively, of course. We know if someone is connecting with us or not through the look in their eyes, the expression on their face, the slant in their posture, and the tone of their voice. What we don't seem to know is that none of this, not one scrap of it, takes place in digital communication. Email and text, I am in chat. And with these mediums accelerating in use, especially due to remote work, that's a problem for sales leaders who haven't mastered their digital body language. Hello, I'm Bill Zip, and I help sales leaders achieve double-digit growth with a people-first approach to sales performance. This is video four in a six-part series on effective communication for leaders and managers. Digital body language is a term coined by Erica Dawan in her brilliant book by the same name. I recommend you buy Erica's book, Digital Body Language, and, ha and have put the link below for you to do just that. But here's my spin on the subject, what I call the three laws of effective digital communication. Law one, assume positive intent. The first law of effective, effective digital communication is simply this, start at a place of grace. We're all moving at a fast and furious pace and may send an email or fire off a text that does not fully express our care for someone else. What do you do when this happens to you? Nothing. Believe the best in others. Grant them the benefit of the doubt, or as a dear friend of mine says, don't jump to confusions. So many of our digital battles would stop right here if we took a deep breath, refused to react, and assumed positive intent. Law two, reading thoroughly is the new listening. I've done this more times than I can count. Someone sends me an email with three or four questions in it, and I only answer one of them halfway. You've done it too. Why? Because our eyes scan things on a screen, especially the really small screens of our phones. And in the scanning, we miss important details. I marvel at this phenomenon when I've gone back and reread an email and wondered to myself, how in the world did I miss that? Scanning is how. So in this world of increased digital communication, listening means reading thoroughly and not defaulting to a mere scan. I've even started taking quick notes on a three by five card while I'm reading a text or email so as not to miss a thing. Law three, writing well is the new speaking. And like any good speaker, there are two parallel tracks to travel down to get your message across, the emotional track and the intellectual track. But it's the emotional track we miss on digital mediums because it lacks nonverbal cues. So add them by complimenting others freely, congratulating them sincerely, saying please and thank you a lot. Perhaps even inserting a few emojis. People don't care how much you know until they know how much you care. Do that first in your digital communication and then make your content clear, concise, and compelling. In my next video on effective communication for leaders, we're going to tackle the anxiety-inducing topic of public speaking for leaders. Please subscribe to this channel so you don't miss a single session, or better yet, schedule an appointment with me to discuss your specific sales challenges, because every salesperson deserves a great sales manager. Thanks for watching.